we've only gone and done it again. We've designed another Unisport exclusive Puma colorway that looks like this. And in today's video, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the design and of course also show you what they look like in action on the pitch. So make sure you're subscribed and let's go! Now, for a boot called Barbershop, it would have made sense to go and film this video in, you know, an actual barbershop, like we did with these absolutely smashing images. But on the other hand, I also figured that with this dead situation going on, sitting down in a barbershop and pretending to get a haircut would be kind of weird, so we just stayed here. Now, as for the design, if we go back to the first steps, I've always loved these pole signs outside of barbershops and the way the stripes wrap around the poles, giving the sense of motion, even though the sign is static. And the rest of the Unisport team also really liked that idea. So the initial design sketches actually took inspiration from the European version of the poles in red and white and the American version in red, white and blue. So poles, great, but why barbershop, Jay? Well, to us at least, the barbershop is a pretty important and essential part of urban football culture, not just for players, but also for fans. You see, it's not just a place for us where you go and get a fresh new trip, if you have hair to cut, at least. It's also a place that's about defining who you are and how you want the world to see you. And we thought that this idea, this concept, would be a great metaphor for the boots being the tools for you to define yourself as a player on the pitch. It's a sort of a reminder that when you're on the pitch, you decide who you are and what kind of player you want to be. And hopefully, I mean, if we really reached our targets, you could also use that in your everyday life. So that's where we started. We had the poles, we had the barbershop concept. But then, how do you translate that into a design that will also work on a football. So during the brainstorming of the design, we came across this fun fact of where the barbershop colors actually stem from. And apparently back in medieval times, barbers also performed surgeries and other sorts of jazz. And back then apparently you believed that letting out bad blood when you had a cold or other diseases and giving room for the healthy blood would help cure you faster or something like that. And of course, when you'd made hole in your arms and blood had been pouring out, you would wrap it in bandages to stop the bleeding. Red blood, white bandages. And that apparently became some sort of thing for barbers to hang outside their shops uh, as their sign. I don't know, apparently that's how the story goes. Now, that's the European version. The American version with the blue, I don't know where the blue comes from, maybe it's the veins or the American flag. I've got no clue, but it's there. Now, another thing we really wanted to focus on is for the stripes to have a nice natural flow over from one boot to the other. So we worked hard with the Puma design team to make sure that when you actually look down on your boots, get this top down view, you get this nice one directional flow of the stripes from the right boot onto the left. And speaking of the Puma design team, they fortunately also really liked our idea. So they went back to their headquarters to make our initial pretty rough sketches work on the actual boot. And one of the things they came back with was they wanted to make the base of the boot black. And also they latched onto this idea that these days, most barber shops have neon lights, neon signs. So they thought that combining the stripes from the poles with the glow around the stripes from the neon lights would be a great concept. And uh, thankfully we thought it looked absolutely bowling. So that's what they did. And all that was left then was just to slap the Unisport logo on the heel as the ultimate boot nerd seal of approval, and we were in business. So no, as much as I like it, they're not lightsabers. They're not Darth Vader fighting Obi-Wan Kenobi. It would've been really cool, but you know, rights and stuff. Now, from a tech point of view, the Ultra 1.4 barbershop here is exactly the same as all the other Ultra 1.4s, meaning that you get this super thin Matrix Evo mesh upper with a speed cage on the inside for a little bit of stability. And then you have this slightly sticky grip control coating on the outside to give you better grip on the ball. And finally, on the bottom, you have the speed unit outsole with these chevron bladed studs to give you a hella aggressive grip in the ground, especially when you push off and change direction. And it's still only 163 grams, meaning that if you're the type of person that likes it minimal and raw and 
barefoot-like and really love those feelings of the old school speed boots from a couple of years back, then these will be right up your alley. And since they're only 200 euros, probably gonna struggle finding something that's better value than these. Especially when they look this good. I mean, look at them. Barbershop, 300 pairs worldwide, 200 euros, Unisport exclusive, go get them. friends, the Unisport Exclusive Puma Ultra 1.4 Barbershop, which is actually the seventh out of all our Unisport Puma Exclusive boots after the three city packs, the Shock Hair Paris Future boots, the Drip Ultra of course, and the 25th Anniversary Ultra as well. But I just gotta say that I am ridiculously excited about these. But guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section right down below. And then remember that there are only 300 pairs of these in the world and you can only buy them at unisportstore.com. So if you want them, you shouldn't sleep on them. Go click the link right there and hurry up because when they're gone, they're gone and you don't want to miss out. And if you do click the link right over there and wait for the boot, you can go and check out the playlist in the bottom corner of your screen. Learn some new football skills and become a better player. And with those words, I'll see you later signing off. Cheers.